Okay, good afternoon everybody. This is the second video with regard to getting the electronic uh, steering column in the Superlight Coupe. And I'm happy to report that it basically installed without any drama. It was uh, very straightforward. It fit as well as I anticipated it to. And, you know, from what I understand, this is the first time at least a home builder has installed power steering in a Superlight Coupe. So, uh, this was one of the uh, checklist items that I really wanted in the car and I'm actually really, uh, really excited that it, it's going to work out because I think I'll enjoy the car a lot more. Uh, but the prior few videos, you know, I made a big deal about getting the seats in the car and making sure they're aligned properly, etc. But I do believe this is an important part of making the car drivable. I did want to install the steering column now uh, versus doing it later in the build. So I, I got the seats in the car, uh, we got them positioned properly, and then if you notice, you know, there is a slight angle to the steering column. It turns out about a one and a half degree angle seemed to be the right angle for the width of this seat and where I'm sitting and where the dash centers in the car. Uh, but anyway, it'll feel natural, it'll look good, and you know, I'm really excited about how this turned out. So we're going to segue to under the dashboard so you can see how this was mounted. All right, here we go. Well, I put the uh, dash on, on board so you can see how, how it's all gonna come together. But here's the uh, steering column, and I did mention it is a tilt column, manual tilt column, so you know, this is the tilt column. I think it's in an open position. And there we go. So that's the high position, and then we have the low position, and then there's the lock. And you know, it, it looks like that lever is sort of hanging down quite a bit, but it actually clears my leg quite easily, so I think I'm going to leave it as is. And also, there are some mounting holes, uh, let's see, right here, to do, you know, to do a little bit of a uh, cover for the steering column. So I'll leverage those and custom make custom make a uh, column cover or column bezel, uh, whatever it's called. But this is the way it was mounted in the car. I simply mimic the type of uh, spacers that come with the stock steering comb. You can see an aluminum spacer there. You can see an aluminum spacer on the other side, and they're pretty beefy. And then you can see a couple around the back. So this simply just bolts right up to the top of the uh, the chassis and it's held in there rock solid with those M12 bolts. So I am just absolutely thrilled how this came out. Plenty of room for my legs. This is a powerful unit. It has some upgradability if you want to do logging and custom programming with regard to uh, the steering electronics. And from what I understand, I'm, you know, I'm the first, I'm the pioneer here to put electronic power steering in a super light coupe. So this is just really cool stuff. Uh, let's see, what I'll do now is I'm going to temporarily put the uh, steering wheel on the car just so you can see what it all looks like. Uh, and then we'll call it a wrap. All right, we have the steering wheel temporarily mounted in the car. It's actually mounted closer than I, I would normally mount it, but you know, my arms are pretty long, so it's not going to stick out much further than that. Also, I'm going to use a push button attachment, so I won't have any signal stalks. I mean, when you look at it from this angle, it, it looks like maybe it's tilted up a bit too high, but I will tell you with my height, if I sort of zoom in where my head would be, you know, it's perfect. I mean, it's, it's, it lines up, you know, at the very top of the binnacle and then it comes out. There's plenty of room to clear your thighs and it's actually pretty comfortable. So I'll probably move this out about three inches or two inches and leave it like that. But once again, it would be very easy just to drop it down another half an inch or so. Uh, but it's pretty close uh, to being where it needs to be. All right, that's a wrap. Uh, with regard to the next video, I'm going to get started. Uh, you see the pedals on the car back there. I'm actually going to get started in mocking up the power brake system. So 
And that's another custom item. You know, the car is a manual brake car. I am going to attempt to install hydraulic power brakes in the car, and that will require mocking up the pedal assembly and the brake booster and those, those parts. So I will work on that until the engine mounts are back from the fabricator. Then I'll finish up the engine and then, you know, we'll get the power brakes done. And then it's really on to sort of standard stuff on the build. So, you know, I'm thinking fall and winter, you know, I'm going to bolt up a lot of components on this car and come spring, it's going to look very different. Okay. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.